used bad pads in the first fight. I do not believe that he knew that the pads were bad prior to the Mosley fight because the testimony is of the inspector is that he didn't have the opportunity to test it out. This was in the process of being wrapped. So you, you can't really tell in that situation. The, the state commission in California argued that it doesn't matter whether he knew or not because the fighter is somehow the captain of his ship and therefore it's responsible. Now that is a different form of liability than knowledge. Whatever you say, it's different. So my position was that, okay, if you want to suspend him on that theory of captain of this ship, that's one thing. But let the suspension go for a year, and after a year, license him. If he, there was proof that he knew, that would be a different story. Cotto clearly had some deep res reservations about what went down in there, though. I mean, Cotto no one believes, believes, and he won't say it, he's too much of a gentleman, but Cotto believes that Margarito's gloves were loaded when they fought. There's no question about that. There's no question. But it is the same, in my opinion, I love Miguel, and I want to take sides here. But in my opinion, it's the same as Mosley, who gets knocked on his ass and won't make a fight of it, with Pacquiao saying, well, I've never gotten hit that hard. You know, something must be wrong, implying that Pacquiao is taking performance-enhancing drugs. When in fact, Pacquiao hit him that hard, because Pacquiao throws punches differently from any other fighter. Like people who follow baseball, how does Stan Musial, on his side, how does he hit a ball so well? Well, there's never been any suspicion that Musial used anything wrong. But Musial, when he hit, used his whole body. Pacquiao, when he punches, uses his whole body like a martial arts gun. And that's the reason his punches have the concussive power that they do.